Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, November 25th, 2019. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But also keep in mind that um, time is an illusion and energies are fluid. Okay. So just because this is dated for Monday, the 25th, that doesn't mean that it has to resonate on that day. This is just whatever spirit wants to bring forward for us at this time and whenever it resonates for you is when it will resonate for you it doesn't have to resonate on this specific day okay um oh okay so a few things that i want to mention before we get started um it is thanksgiving week here in the united states so um for those of us that are celebrating yay happy thanksgiving um i will be seeing family on thanksgiving so i'm going to be doing my best to get the December readings out by Sunday, which is December 1st. Um, I do want to have them all out on time. But because of, you know, the holiday and the fact that I won't be here on Thursday, I'll be at my parents' house, um, it's going to be a little bit tricky to get everything done. So m m my plan is to have it all finished and ready to go and released on the 1st of December. But bear with me if that doesn't quite happen just keep that in mind um also i won't be doing happy hour or um afternoon tea or like any of my live sessions this week just because i need to work on <laughs> work on the the december readings and prepare for thursday um yeah i think that's it Yeah, that's it for now. If I think of anything else, I'll, I'll tell you guys later. Okay, so let's get into today's energy. And <clears throat> so what came out first was the Knight of Wands. And then the Knight of Cups and Judgment came out right after that. Okay, and then overall energy, we have the Page of Swords here with the Four of Pentacles here. All right, so... <sighs> What does this feel like? It feels like someone is going through uh, a pretty strong wake-up call and yet is resisting at the same time. <laughs> um, the judgment, judgment here, this is, you know, the moment where you receive that wake-up call, you receive that um, second chance, what this really feels like or, or, or resurrection okay the 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 oh i just realized i don't have my i didn't turn my lights on um i just lost my train of thought i'm so sorry guys judgment is the is like the energy of a wake-up call It's also a redemption or a resurrection a second chance phoenix from the ashes risen this is often depicted as people coming out of their graves or being resurrected from a grave um and you do see the graves on this side of the card right but here this is the side where the angel appears to you or these people um you know normally blowing the horn which the, does have in his hand right there um that horn that is like a basically a horn of awakening but what i'm feeling and what i'm hearing with this today or at least the message for this right now is this is awareness Okay, so it's a second chance. It's a resurrection, sure, but it doesn't mean that any real action is being taken right now. Right now, it just feels like an awareness of something. Um, re uh, it, it, and what they are saying is an emotional relationship, a romantic relationship. Okay, fine, a divine partnership, twin flame, whatever you want to call it. And yet, this person is still just watching. Page of Swords with the four of pentacles okay but it's this side of the four of pentacles where this person is like in their home or in their building surrounded by all their material that they're so focused on that they just can't seem to let go of so it's like it's almost like i almost didn't even want to read this that came out this energy that came out here because it's like okay well if what, what's the point in speaking on this or or channeling this or knowing this or hearing of this if this person is just going to sit around and stay stuck in their old ways stay stuck in their materialism well then the message more is for that person then so if you are that person that 
and this does feel it does feel like the divine masculine in a twin flame situation but guys <laughs> it's not like we're supposed to be waiting around for the divine masculine to come back into our lives or something like that it's and so okay so i I'm, I'm i guess i'm channeling this because i'm also branching into channeling more than just for the feminine in these situations okay so if you are of the masculine collective and you find yourself watching this then okay then this message is for you here what do i tell you what do, what do you do i don't know that is something you're going to have to decide for yourself but right now this feels like a moment where you're coming to terms with some sort of resurrection some sort of wake up call uh, potentially some sort of new direction you are meant to be moving in you're being pulled towards this doesn't have to do with just a romantic relationship now the romance aspect of it does come from the knight of cups but the knight of cups can also talk about emotional fulfillment okay you have these two knights here which are promoting some sort of action steps to be taken movement to be had what not whatever um there is a sense of fearlessness slightly and that does mostly come from this knight of wands energy but ultimately i don't really feel like someone's i don't feel like you're taking too much action right now this page of swords energy could be watching waiting and learning scoping the situation out trying to figure out mm, is this the right time to strike what move do i make but i also feel like there is an energy here for someone of um I want to say stubbornly waiting or stubbornly resisting in some way because there are a lot of things that are needing to be let go of that are to be quite honest I kind of feel like are no longer serving you with this four of pentacles energy I kind of feel I, I almost want to say you can sit there and you can amass all the material items and possessions that you want but what is all that going to get you i mean what's what's that going to say for like relationships like your interpersonal relationships like you could have all the money in the world or, or the biggest house or you know the all the fanciest cars or best clothing what you can have all that material but it is it going to provide any real substance to your life is it going to provide any real happiness i mean that's a that's a rhetorical question you answer that for yourself it's just it feels like a question that needs to be heard or at least needs to be asked because someone is putting too much value on the material possessions or appearances it could also be okay but with this judgment here it does feel like you're you're receiving some sort of wake-up call to pull you out of that you just have to decide when the right time to take action is i guess i'm gonna sneeze <coughs> excuse me so i guess my sneezing is <laughs> sneezing on the truth <laughs> sneezing is confirmation Ooh. Okay, we'll see. Here you go. The Eight of Swords just popped out. There is definitely a sense of freedom here that is wanted. Yes, I'm hearing that, but is also being learned about. Um, you can cut yourself free. Look at how loosely. I mean, I, look at that. It doesn't even look like those ropes should really be staying up on her. They are so loose, <laughs> right? And then with that eagle there, that is a symbol of freedom. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, look, you have the Ten of Pentacles here and you have the Four of Pentacles again. All right. So there could be a family situation that is holding you back for sure. For sure. There could be a family situation. It could be. Um, excuse me, guys. Now my nose is already. It could be a longevity, um, a family, maybe a family secret or you know not wanting to do something different from the family or at least having not wanted to go against the grain with the family somehow but now you know judgment is really calling to you and you know it's there's really a resurrection you might have been i need to turn my light on you might have um been in an energy 
of um, doing things a traditional way, the way things have always been. But now this judgment energy is kind of calling you for, to break free from that potentially. Um, but it also could be you have a family in mind, like wanting to start a family. It also could be with this Ten of Pentacles that you have a lesson, a lesson learned. I just turned my lights on and that really didn't even help. Whatever. <laughs> there's, there's a lesson learned here. To me, because tens are completions, and especially the Ten of Pentacles, it's like um, a lesson learned in the physical realm for you to move forward and start a new one once you're done completing this lesson here. I do get the sense that for some of you, the Ten of Pentacles is saying it, this lesson has been a long, has been completed a long time. You've understood what this lesson was for a long time, but you've just been sitting here resisting Four of Pentacles again. Okay. Let's break free from that. And to be quite honest, if you really want to be free, all you have to do is take your freedom. I know that's easier said than done. In some cases, you know, you have, as I do feel like some people have, some people um, that are dealing with this, you might have gotten some sort of financial support from this situation. Or you might be feeling like you don't want to move or you don't want to let go for fear that you might become financially uh, unstable. But you have the power to keep your finances in check. You have the power to be independent. You 11, 11. You always had. It's so crazy that... Okay, well, first of all, there's a fire truck going by. A fire needs to be put out. But as I was saying that you have the ability to be financially independent, I saw 1111 on the counter. I mean, if that's not confirmation, what is? <laughs> and then that fire truck going by, I mean, there's a fire that has been raging that needs to be put out. But you're just sitting there, like sitting on your hands, like, no, I'm not going to do anything about this. I don't want to upset the balance. <laughs> I, you know what's funny? I just heard, I don't want to, I don't want to seem like I'm the one that started the fire. <laughs> Whoa. But I don't think you are the one that started the fire. And if you, and if you are directly related to that fire, that's, that's raging. And this could be, you know, this is symbolic, of course. I mean, I don't actually, I'm not actually picking up on an actual fire, but this is fairly symbolic. I don't know if it is literal, then I'm sorry. <laughs> but if you are involved in somehow that this fire started, I don't feel like it's any, of any fault on your own. I feel like it's um, the kindling or the, the, the dried wood or whatever, the flammable material has been built up over a long period of time. I'm getting a very patriarchal vibe from that. Um, and you were just that spark that, okay, well, I just heard intentionally lit the fire. Well, some of you may have intentionally lit the fire, but others of you, you just, it just it ignited just by you being you, you bringing your spark or your energy into reality. And I mean, that's, or into the situation. It's not like you really intended to start a fire, you know? Very interesting. Very, very interesting this morning. All right. Let's, con let's, 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 let's continue here. Let's get to the rest of the reading and see what else we've got. I've got my grease mug here today. I did end up watching a little bit of grease this weekend. It was fantastic. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Well, okay, wait. Before I go any further, I do want to say that I was picking up channeling that the color for today for the collective is green. All right, so keep that in mind. <laughs> here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, November 25th, 2019.
Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're giving this three shuffles. So the color is green, which is indicative of the heart chakra, but it does feel a little pale. It could be that someone is really starting to get in touch with their emotions, not necessarily your emotions, but like starting to really get into your heart center, into your feeling center. Well, your feeling center was is really also kind of like your sacral chakra, but your heart center, basically, you know? Okay. And, and for some of you, that does feel like someone is really finally starting to become aware of what it is their heart truly desires. Okay. All right, let's see what we've got. Monday... November 25th. What do you want to discuss with us today, Spirit? It's, that one is sideways. I'm going to take it. And I'm going to do one more. Shuffle here. Monday, November 25th. That's enough. Leave this one on. What? Okay. Oh, damn, it's that four of pentacles. <laughs> it's funny. I was struggling with whether or not I should take this. And yeah, oh, my God. Oh, my God, you guys. Okay, look. Okay, overall energy, you have the four of swords. Look at that. Look at what's burning in the background, you guys. The fire we were just talking about with the ten of cups. Mm. And I was struck. I was hearing leave that one on top, and I it was talking about this four of swords, and then this one was like wanting to come out too, and it's none other than the four of pentacles here. So what I'm feeling here already, before I look at the rest of it, what I'm feeling here is that someone there is a fire that is raging, and someone is just sitting there watching it happen, not doing a damn thing about it. You also might feel helpless. You might feel like you can't do anything about it. But you see here, this fire that might be raging around you, we're going to look at all this in a second, but this fire that might be raging around you, it's necessary. So in, in some ways, there really isn't anything that you can do about it other than just let it burn. But also what you can do is really release the hold, your hold on all of the things that are burning around you that are no longer serving you. And in some cases, I feel like this fire, for some people, this fire doesn't even have to be raging like this. Like it didn't have to come to this is kind of the energy that I'm getting. But in some cases, it is. So... Okay, nothing you can do now but let it burn. Hopefully you've learned a lesson, though, in terms of wh what is worth holding on to and what isn't, right? Of course, that is completely subjective. Do not let me tell you what is worth releasing. But if the universe is coming through saying, hey, you know, hey, buddy, wake up, wake up. Hey, knock, knock, wake up. <laughs> maybe, maybe, listen, <laughs> you have the six of swords, there's that eight of swords, three of pentacles, seven of cups, seven of swords, five of cups, six of pentacles, five of swords. Okay. Okay, um... So, there's a good si there's a good side to this, and there's a and there's a not so good side to this. Let's start with the not so good side to this. You have the seven of swords, the five of cups, the six of pentacles, but with the five of swords here. Please bear with me, um, because I am I'm trying to piece this together here, and I'm trying to you know get the story. Um, what I'm hearing with this is comeuppance. I just heard comeuppance. And you can see that with the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is very much about receiving, getting what you deserve in, in some cases. Um, 
the balance between give and take reciprocity. What I'm feeling here is that there was someone is getting their come up comeuppance because they were deceitful. They were backstabbing or there was a sense of a lose-lose situation here. Five of swords, seven of swords. Someone was not being honest about how they truly felt, was not being honest about what they truly wanted, was, was actually not even being honest with themselves. Okay. Um, and that was a lose-lose situation. And now here you are dealing with it. Five of cups. However, the beauty on this the silver lining in this is that it served a purpose. It served to release you from things that were toxic, maybe even narcissistic in nature, okay? The three of cups that have spilled here. You, and all is not lost because you still have these two cups. Now, for those of you of whom someone has walked away from you, you still have these two cups. These two, two, these two cups are still standing, and that is your own self. That is the balance between masculine and feminine energy. The, the silver lining here is that even though something may not have gone in your favor, or even though something may not have turned out the way you wanted it to, you still you now have the ability to heal and grow from this situation, provided that you release something. Provided that as you sit through this period of cycles ending and things burning down, right, you use this time to understand, to come to an understanding of what it is that has happened here, why this has happened, and how you can prevent it in the, in the future. Yes? Four of Swords is very much a meditative energy, but it's also, in my opinion, as a reader, it's a minor arcana version of the Hanged Man, which represents a change in perspective. And that's definitely what's needed here. But that's definitely what you have the opportunity to gain. So let's move over to the better side of the situation. You have the Six of Swords with the Eight of Swords. Okay, and then you also have the Seven of Cups with the Three of Pentacles. So what you're moving away from is some sort of confinement. And it did come out this side of the card with the Eight of Swords. But that's just to tell you, that's just to say, you're moving away from this type of, or you have an opportunity, should you take it, to free yourself from this mental confinement, okay? really start working on yourself self-mastery here three of pentacles with the seven of cups and this is a good side of the seven of cups here because this is help coming through showing you the options the plethora of options that you have to build upon yourself to live your life to express yourself you don't life doesn't have to look one way or a certain way Eight of Swords, okay? You have infinite options. You have infinite ways of doing things. If you would just allow the universe to help you, if you would listen to your intuition, if you would listen to the higher guidance and all that stuff, all of the things that have been pushing you towards releasing certain things, okay? <clears throat> Ultimately, this is, good. this is a good thing. It might feel not so good. It, okay, it might feel shitty, but it's ultimately a good thing. Okay. Let's start. Let's, let's move forward. Let's get some clarity here for you. Let's get a deeper understanding of this. I want to start with this. And I will say that I do feel like we're really speaking to the masculine collective right now. Okay. Now, you could be, you could still resonate with this if you're more on the feminine side. Um, you could, it's entirely possible. However, I do, I am feeling very strong vibes that we're speaking to the masculine side of the collective right now. Okay. And um, you're really in an energy of really breaking free from some sort of change, some, some conformity, confinement, all that stuff.
Some of you have been caught up in a situation in which you felt like you were giving what was necessary, but people were just taking from you. They weren't really giving back to you. I really do feel like there are some some individuals that are part of the masculine side of the collective right now that are really figuring out that um, their efforts might have, may have been wasted. They may have been focused on or holding on to the, the wrong things, valuing the wrong things. Not to say anything is... I, I mean, I personally don't really believe there is um, such a thing as right or wrong. It's really a subjective matter. However, in terms of being happy, um, feeling fulfilled, feeling appreciated, that, necess that wasn't necessarily coming through in this situation for you. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, ultimately leading to the Five of Cups. You were holding on to the wrong things. You were valuing the wrong things. Or valuing things for the wrong reason. And it could have been very much a wrong reason for you because it was really just in service of other people. It really wasn't serving you the way it was advertised. Um, the way you were led to believe it was going to serve you. It was very much a bait and switch type of energy. And I really do feel like the masculine collective is really starting to come to terms of that, is really starting to become aware of that. And that could be the reason why you might just be sitting here for of sorting it while things are burning to the ground. Very much so. Very much so. Okay. So let me, um, let's get some clarification here. Let's look a little bit deeper into these energies. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, five, leading to, ultimately leading to the Five of Cups with the Four of Pentacles here. I'm going to give this one more shuffle. Okay, let's see what we've got. Just get a little bit of a deeper understanding of this. Ooh. <laughs> Justice. Oh, yes, honey. With what at the bottom of the deck? Ooh, the Knight of Swords. All right. Well, look, looky here. Looky, looky here, y'all. Someone has got some things to say. But also, I... I feel someone might have some things to say, but also there are some things that need to be cut out, period. End of story. There are things that need to be cut out. And this actually could happen very quickly. It could happen very suddenly. It could seem like a tower moment or from your perspective, since you've been like, since you're aware of like what this tarot kind of Thing means it might end up looking like a tower moment to you in hindsight but this i do feel like is something that you would be i feel like this would be um you uh creating this tower moment i don't really feel i feel like the universe has come in enough to show you the way i feel like at this point someone here is going to be taking action either communicating something that has needed to be said for a very very long time or making cuts swift decisive action is what i'm hearing cutting some things out bringing justice into your life bringing some sort of retribution into your life here now here's the thing you guys you have the opportunity for this justice to be served, but you have got to take the action. You have got to put it into motion. You have got to set it into motion. The universe is only going to do so much, can only do so much. You still have to take some sort of action. The universe can come around and throw tower moment after tower moment at you um, and clear the space, but if you're just going to sit there twiddling your thumbs in that clear and empty space. I mean, like, what's that going to do? It's most likely just going to leave you open for someone else to come in and recreate the same situation the universe just pulled you out of, right? You have got to take some action now. Whatever way that, whatever shape or form that, that, 
works for you or, or manifests for you, you just, you got to do it. Okay, let's look at this now. Six of Swords, Eight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Um, the Eight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Three of Pentacles is giving me very much an energy of entrepreneurship, yes, but taking matters into your own hands, going to business for, going into business for yourself. So if you're leaving behind some sort of patriarchal or family structure here, this ver that is very much what this energy kind of feels like. It, even though we could be, we're really talking mostly about some sort of family situation or some sort of interpersonal relationships, potentially with friends, maybe colleagues, something like that. Um, some sort of social situation, okay? And it feels like this is a situation in which somebody was working for, we'll say, a corporation for X amount of time, and they're finally done with it, and they want to go into business for themselves. Three of Pentacles, entrepreneurship. That's what this feels like. Okay. And you might be very confused. You might be pretty scared. Seven of Cups. But you see how this angel here, normally we get this side of the card. In which it's like dark and confusion. This person is blind. It's like, holy shit, what do I do now? But now the universe is coming forward and saying, yes, we're here to help you. We've always been here to help you. Thank you for finally acknowledging us. Thank you for finally listening to us. Listening to us. It kind of sucks that you know you have to be broken down to such a to, to such an extent to finally agree to listen to what else is out there. But that's part of the human way, <laughs> unfortunately. Spirit just said that. That's kind of part of how you guys work down there. So, yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> okay, so. Let's clarify this a little bit then. Six of Swords, Eight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Let's look a little deeper into this here. Six of Swords, Eight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Ooh, see? Oh, wow. Wowie, wow, wow. Okay, overall energy. Yes, there you go. Judgment. Look at that, you guys. Okay, you have the Hierophant here, okay, with the Five of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Wands. So, so this Three of Cups here, oh, actually, and the Hierophant. All right, this is the energy that I was picking up on of some sort of social structure. This could be family. It also could be society. It could be how people see you, um, the way you want to be perce perceived or needing to, or feeling like you need to be perceived in a certain way. Um, I just heard societal structure again, but I really do feel like here you have the Five of Cups to the Ace of Wands. So this is you... Dealing with the emotional pain, the dissatisfaction specifically is what I'm hearing, and then moving forward in a new direction, Ace of Wands, being inspired to move forward in a new way. You do also have this card here. Oh, shoot. The Queen of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> okay, this is a mother energy. I heard leaving some sort of false prophet behind. Ooh, I don't know what that is. I'm getting a very strong mother energy from this. This also is feminine energy here that is um, narcissistic in nature. Very interesting. You might have learned something or develop some sort of complex from your mother early in childhood which only helped to, to only helped you view feminine energy in a certain way I'm getting an energy of like narcissistic gold digging self-centered Oh, wow. This is an energy of someone a masculine energy that has been manipulated by a feminine energy into doing anything that she says. This is the energy of twisted feminine energy that um, that plays this 
patriarchal game that has given her power away to the men or masculine energies in the world and yet still it, it plays into that whole cycle that whole system of um almost i'm having trouble putting this into words but almost like a damsel in distress type of energy almost a martyr type energy as well mm. very materialistic very self-centered only cares about possessions what what she wants how she looks That's very interesting. The Hierophant also here is talking about what you've learned. A lesson learned. Okay. But overall, you are in fact rising above. Judgment. Wow. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Okay. So now we are going to get closing message from spirit and then our oracle guidance which is going to be the light worker today yeah light worker oracle so just a closing message from spirit and we'll see what we've got here Ooh. Wow, that was a lot. Okay. Overall energy of the Wheel of Fortune. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. That's good. Changing your future, changing your fortune, changing your destiny. Going with the flow. You have... Wow. Okay. You have the Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. And then you also have... The world, the five of pentacles, the lovers, and the three of swords. Um, oof, okay, give me a second here. Okay. So, I'm going to put these in order of how I... Oh, I almost spilled my coffee. Of how I feel this is working. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little lost here. Um, <laughs> so basically, this is just retelling what we, what we were just talking about. All right. You have a situation in which a cycle is coming to an end. Um, you have the lovers here, which is like a catalyzation. I'm feeling the, the twin flame catalyst from the lovers here, which then led to the three of swords because of the five of pentacles and ultimately then to the five of cups but then that's coming to an end right three of swords is the heartbreak is the deception is the cheating is the lying is the backstabbing blah 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 whatnot whatever but that was coming from a place of lack of self-worth five of pentacles and sadness sorrow disappointment dissatisfaction but all of that is coming to an end okay lessons have been learned with the hierophant here lessons have been learned because the, the, the Hierophant does represent teaching and learning, and this is more on the physical, three-dimensional side, yes? Balance is be between give and take is being instilled into, infused into your situation, and thus self-mastery is embarked upon. Rebuilding your foundation, building a new foundation, something like that, with the Three of Pentacles, okay? This is good, you guys. This is very, very good. It might feel kind of shitty right now. It might. Um, but you're going through the growing, the growing and the healing process is what I'm hearing, okay? All right. So let's get our oracle guidance then today for today's reading.
Okay. Let's see. Oracle guidance for today. This one. Card number 43. Sixth ray of devotion. This says, the sixth ray of devotion bestows the qualities of persistence, unwavering focus, and intensity of feeling. It is a gift of the strength to move mountains with your will for what you love. When the sixth ray of devotion appears, you are being given guidance that even if you do not seem to have much worldly power right now, the power of your beliefs can conquer obstacles. Archangel Uriel helps you receive the blessings of the sixth ray now. Uriel, 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 something like that. I'm going to read some more of this because it does feel like very important. You are receiving a blessing of the sixth ray of devotion. It is serving your soul growth and will help you develop faith in your principles and trust in the power of your beliefs. You will be able to recognize and appreciate the extraordinary strength within you and realize that you have enough willpower to keep working towards your dream, overcoming any obstacle until you are divinely successful. The sixth ray reminds you of the power of love, which can conquer anything and everything. Love is an empowering, motivating force far stronger than fear. Love is the foundation of authentic spiritual devotion. Devotion to the divine empowers us to bear burdens, overcome obstacles, and manifest all manner of beautiful visions in a world that may at first assure us that our dream is not possible. The sixth ray blesses you with spiritual stubbornness and sacred rebellion against any odds. The challenge with the sixth ray is to not become so anchored in your beliefs that you become fanatical, judging others because their beliefs are different. You can be unwavering in your adherence to your belief system and yet honor the fact that there are as many paths to divine union as there are people, that the ways the universe calls you home to love are unlimited. If you do not honor this, you may try to pull people from their own path, which can create unnecessary struggle for, for them. So, I'm sorry if you're hearing all the construction going on outside. Um, which can create unnecessary struggle from then, from for them and unnecessary karma for you. The best way to honor the blessing and minimize the challenge of this ray is to share your truth with an open heart and an open mind. Share without an agenda. For those working with this energy, the power of the mind and emotions will come into focus. You may need to channel your emotion and I'm sorry, emotional and mental power into worthy projects or practice balancing your intensity with lightness of heart and playfulness so you don't become harsh or despairing if things appear not to be working out the way you believe they should. Then your faith can remind you love always finds a way. <clears throat> When, Arch when Archangel Uriel connects, connects with you, a tremendous power, the power of Earth, is brought to your aid. Uriel brings healing energy and the ability to cause real effect in the physical world with your mental and emotional power. Remember, you are here to shine your light. Others can choose to shine, to, to, others can choose to use your light to see by until they are ready to discover their own inner light or not. It is not anything you need to worry about. Simply live your truth, trust in your heartfelt beliefs, and devote yourself to love. Finally, the sixth ray has a special connection to religion and love. You are asked to hold the healing power of love in your heart for all those who are evolving through a life experience involving religious practice. This can help counterbalance the judgment and fear that exists in the hearts of many towards religions that are not their own or that have been the vehicle through which abuse of that of has taken place. Religion on this planet at this time needs love, support, and encouragement to evolve, heal, and grow in whatever way ultimately serves divine love. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning.
Yeah. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye.